think you're talking about a portable generator. You can keep it in the garage and then roll it out when you need it. Like this unit, you'd fill it with unleaded gasoline. Um, and then when you start it up in a power adage, you can plug extension cords into these four outlets right here, run them to your house, and then you can connect those to maybe your refrigerator, your modem, you know, critical circuits. All right, what about things like well pump and uh, furnace? Ooh, well, those aren't actually going to be uh, have any outlets, right? No, Kevin, they wire directly into your electrical system. There is another option. This plug allows us to wire directly into your house. Let me show you how it works. Great, let's have Great. a look at that. All right. Scott, our panel is right here. That's good. What we can install for you, Chris, is this manual transfer switch. It mounts next to your electrical panel, and it will wire directly in and connect these wires to the critical circuits that you want to control in your home. What we can do is tie in your well and your furnace and different appliances in your house. Now, during a normal operation, these switches are all in the line position. During a power outage, you would simply go outside, start the generator, come in here and flip these switches from line to generator. And that would now power up everything that's tied into these circuits. Great, what's next? We can go ahead and get started installing this. Okay, so now what we need to do is shut the main breaker off, take the panel cover off, and tie these circuits directly into your electrical panel. All right, so we're not gonna have any lights in the house. Let me fire up the generator so we got some light to work with. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, generator's on and we're running temporary lights for you. Okay, now that the main brake is off, we're gonna finish tightening this lock nut so we can secure these wires into the electrical panel. Okay. So there's a couple of wires that come over from the transfer switch. We have green as the ground and white as the neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these back and tie them directly into the neutral bar. Okay, now, Chris, right now the utility power travels in through the main circuit breaker, out through this branch circuit breaker, up this black wire to your kitchen lighting. What we need to do is interrupt this wire with the transfer switch. So they provide us two wires, a red and a black, and they both have a letter on them which corresponds to the switch on the transfer switch. We need to remove the branch circuit wire going up to the kitchen lights. We tie the red wire into the circuit breaker, and then we splice the wire going up to the lights with the wire from the transfer switch, and that allows us to have utility power during normal operation. In the event of an outage, we would switch this switch over to generator, and that would send power up the black wire to the kitchen lights. All right, so what we have here is a circuit breaker that goes to your well, takes up two spots, it's 240 volts, and there's two hot wires that go down to your well, 120 volts on the black, 120 volts on the red. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off the circuit breaker and tie them onto the transfer switch, which has the exact same setup. And now we have 240 going down to your well. So we have one more 240 volt circuit. We're gonna tie in the exact same way. There's one last piece to install. This is a plug that ties the generator directly into the transfer switch. We'll go ahead and attach a wire to the back, drill through the house, and that'll provide power to the transfer switch. This gets mounted right here. Get the wiring done, let's get it hooked up to the uh, generator. And this is the cord that comes with the transfer switch. That end plugs into the generator, and this end plugs into the wall. All right, now, Chris, this is working off of uh, gasoline, right? So Correct. it is going to exhaust carbon monoxide. So this stays outside and away from the house. Check that. All right, so let's fire it up. I'll turn it on. We'll start it up. All right, now that we have the generator running outside, we can simulate a power outage by shutting off the main. 
Now we'll go ahead and turn the switches from line to generator. Hey, and you are running on generator power.